Hi, this is Monty from Mopart Vehicles and here's another one of our detailed vehicle appraisals on a car that's just recently come into us. This is our lovely 15 plated uh, Citroen DS4 2 litre D Sport. Really nice high specification vehicle, covered a little over 81,000 miles. Uh, two owner from new, so originally registered to Citroen, then a private owner after that. Um, and most of the mileage that he'd done, um, uh, speaking to the dealer, was all generally motorway miles really. Uh, serviced with the selling dealer, um, so it was regi originally registered with them then purchased by a private owner and it's been serviced all its life with that dealer. They MOT'd it, etc., uh, servicing it the whole lot. So we've got all of that information. Now you can certainly try and ring the garage. They're called Sportif. Um, they're in Buckinghamshire. That's a reg number if you wanted to try and quote it. But due to data protection, they probably won't tell you much, but they may tell you that the car has been serviced with them. Now by all means, if you want to make a note of the registration number, do any checks that you want to do on the car. Uh, mileage history checks that type of thing now the reasons we tend to do these videos is all about trust honesty integrity we try and tell you how it is um, you know she is a five-year-old car she's covered over 80,000 miles she's going to have a few little imperfections here and there the videos are not designed just to pick holes in our car just to let you know whether you're two miles away from us or 200 miles away before you make a journey what the car should be like uh, we've all done it before, we've seen absolutely stunning, fabulous photographs of a vehicle. Go and have a look at it and think, is this the car that I really saw? It's probably like most people's Instagram or dating site profiles. Um, you know, we can all try and hide behind some sort of dodgy photographs and, and stuff like that. So this is the reason why we do it. Now, please feel free to read any of my reviews on Auto Trader. They are all genuine reviews. We don't make anything cut up. Uh, all five star. We're going to get a bad one somewhere along the line. Someone's a bit disappointed with something, but we try and have the cars. We try and pre present them as pe best as we possibly can. And we try and pick cars. Now, whether it's done 80,000 miles like this car or it's done 30,000 miles, good service history. We don't like cars that have got, you know, 10 owners and things like that. So it's a two owner car, originally Citroen and then uh, the, uh, the private owner has owned it. So as I mentioned, it's a two litre diesel, um, really nice high specification car, so full leather interior, sat nav, um, you've got um, lane sort of uh, lane assist, so blind spot assist, sorry, in the mirrors, things like that, lots of stuff. So I'll go through that with you as quickly as I possibly can. Now the videos tend to take about, I don't know, eight, 10 minutes long, but I will be as brief as I possibly can. Front and rear parking sensors on the car, you've got daylight running lights, 18 inch alloy wheels, uh, matching tyres all the way around, or matching make. Um, they've got plenty of tread on the tyres, and uh, wheels are all in really, really good condition. There's no nasty curbing or corrosion, that type of thing. Okay. Let's just show you a few bits and pieces inside. We have done some touch-ups, I'll show you that in a second. And probably the worst bit is on the bonnet of the car. I'll come to that very shortly. So, full leather interior. You get that, I believe, with the D-Sport. You get this kind of sort of semi-panoramic um, glass screen. It doesn't go all the way back, but you can see where the rear view mirror is. Sometimes a lot of windows, so uh, you'll move one section. So if I move the sun visor down, you can see the difference from one side to another. Gives you a bit more of a kind of panoramic view. Six speed manual transmission, climate control air conditioning, all super cold. Uh, navigation, DAB, uh, lots of functionality on there. Steering wheel's got everything that you're gonna need. Um, sort of cruise control, speed limiters, all your controls for your radio, telephone, etc. You've got two electric windows, so not a lot of people know this, but the back windows don't actually, you know, I've got me in the picture there, so the back windows don't actually go down at all because they're part of this kind of design with the DS range. So it has nowhere for this window to actually go down into, so they don't actually open. So folding mirrors, heated seats, You've also got lumbar support and massaging seat. So where the lumbar support will come out of the center of the seat, you can use it as a massaging uh, functionality. And blind spot assist, that's your button there, which is in the mirrors that you get. There. So if someone's in your uh, blind spot on motorways, things like that, it will flash. Now it is fitted with this kind of, um, I think it's a, uh, I know it's an iPhone, I'm not so sure which model iPhone. It's got a charging kit in there. Um, I can have that removed if someone wants it removed. 
shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so door edges, we've touched up a few little marks on the door edges, and I've just noticed a tiny little chip there which I have missed, but I'll get that addressed. But we touched up the door edges, there's a few little chips on the bonnet, and I'll come to them very shortly. So this is what I'm talking about. So the window sort of covers all this section here. It has nowhere to go down into. Um, okay, so rear windows do not open. Hopefully the back seats you can see all really good. Really good condition. To be fair, don't even think they've really been sat in. One other thing I have ordered, I've ordered a brand new set of mats for the car, only because the driver's one's a little bit worn, so I've ordered a brand new set for the car. Okay, no nasty dents or anything like that. Hopefully you can try and pick that all up. That's all good there. We had a few little trolley dents, we've had them addressed. Rear parking sensors on the car. Just open the boot. So 60-40 split seat. This doesn't come with, uh, it comes like with a run flat kit. Uh, it doesn't come with a spare wheel uh, underneath here. Okay, it comes with a pump up kit. The relics all look good along this side of the car. Hopefully again, you can try and pick up some of the reflections. I'm not too sure if you can or not, but I'll try and move the camera slowly. No dulling of paint. A few little hairline scratches here and there, but most of them around the door handles. Hopefully you can see the alloy wheels all look in good condition. What I'll do, let me just go around the other side, just so you can see the uh, back alloy wheel as well. No nasty bits of corrosion. There were a couple of little scuffs on the edges of the wheels, we've had them addressed. Mainly on the passenger side. Hopefully that all looks good to you. There were a few little stone chips as well, not so, sort of uh, touch-ups that we've done here. I think it's a bit further down around here. Nothing major. And then have a look at the back. Again, I really don't think these back seats have been sat in. The armrest there, you can fold that up and get it out of the way. Door panels all look good. Down the uh, front as well. Book pack, two keys. I've personally put about a hundred miles on this car myself. Drives lovely. That's my opinion, anyway. Okay, that looks good to you. As I mentioned, six-speed manual transmission. And let's just go along the front of the car. So, alloy wheels all look good. Tyres, plenty of tread on the tyres. As I mentioned, front parking sensors, they like running lights, they come along these sort of like little kind of hockey sticks there. Now, the worst bit about this car and most Citroëns, whether it's a C4, DS4, whatever, they always tend to suffer from a little bit of kind of corrosion from stone chips on bonnets. It was, um, an issue they had with like ceiling and god knows what else so along the front of the bonnet here just here and just there there's a couple of little sort of corrosion marks that have just started to come up they start off from a, like a little chip and they get a little bit worse now the reasons why i'm not going to be painting bonnets and blending into bumpers and wings and things like that it just really doesn't justify it okay so i just want to be honest with customers there is a little bit of a scab that's just starting to come up on the bonnet there to be expected she's done 80,000 miles just over so I want to kind of conclude it now about nine minutes long so if you're interested in this car or anything else at Moat Park Vehicles please don't hesitate to give me a call send me a text email whatever you want to do and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible all of our cars come with a six month comprehensive warranty um, we don't try and skimp on that you can upgrade it if you want to we don't charge customers indemnity fees invoicing fees admin fees nothing at all the price you see is the price you pay Thank you again for your time. Hope to speak to you soon. Bye-bye.